Good morning. Uh, this is my first tutorial in YouTube. It's going to be about how to make the glass texture in Blender. Uh, since uh, well, I've seen a lot of people trying to figure it out, and it's actually quite easy, but uh, especially if you're a beginner, it's some, somewhat daunting to look at all of these panels and all that stuff. So uh, I'll just point you to the right places, and hopefully you'll be able to actually understand what's going on. Now, this is the basic setup that we're going to be using. I'm going to render it so you can see what we're doing. Okay, this is it. I added this plane, this checkered plane, so that you can see what's going on with, with the glass texture. Okay, but uh, this is the setup that I'm going to use to show you what's going on. And this is it. So I'm just going to go ahead and add a new. Uh, th this is here, right here in the shadings and in the material buttons. Okay, right now because it's, new, because it's a new uh, square, a new cube, there's no, no, uh, no material. So I'm going to add a new one. And I'm gonna let's let's go back to physics and remember the characteristics of the objects that we're trying to 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 model here. The you know glass has three characteristics that are very important in the visual quality of what what, what is going on. So first of all is the transparency, which this basically means that the beam of light is gonna go through the panel. Okay, this is a, this is a solid panel of you know any material in this case glass. So part of the energy is gonna go through. Okay. This is, this is an eye, by the way. I mean, it doesn't look like one, but this is an eye. Uh, this is the viewer. Okay, and, and that's what transparency means. It, the, the material actually lets the light go through it. And glass is, that, is one of the characteristics of glass. All right? We're going to model that here. Uh, there are two places you have to move so that you can get the effect. First of all, the alpha. Okay, Th this is the alpha. Uh, uh, well, the alpha is like a channel, like red, green, and blue. You know the basic three colors. There's like a fourth color, and it was used uh, in systems like Super Nintendo stuff like that to sort of uh, simulate transparencies. So the alpha has to be in, in one. It means it's completely opaque, so there's no transparency at all. So I have to move it down to some like I don't know, you know whatever. Like I, I, this point three seventeen, and this is how it looks. Of course, it does not look transparent now. Okay. Because this is not this is like the color transparency, but we have to make a transparency of the object too. And we're gonna go there. Oh, sorry. Here. In these tabs, right here, in the mirror transparency, okay, this is mirror trans. It means mirror transparency. We're gonna enable the ray transparency. Okay? This is what enables the object to actually let the light go through it. Okay? I'm gonna map it to this to the to this sphere as well. Hold on, just a second. Okay, which one is it? I think it's that one. All right. Um, I'm gonna render this now, so so that you can see what's going on. And uh, of course, it's gonna take a little longer. You know, the the more calculations it has to do, it takes longer. So uh, this is it. Now, this is the transparency. Okay. Now it begins looking like glass. But it's still like weird, okay? The, you know, it's transparent, but you know, doesn't quite make it, all right? So we're, let's gonna go. We're gonna go to the next characteristic of glass that's important here. And it's gonna be the, the reflection, okay? And that basically means, you know, that the plane is not gonna let the, the light go through, but it's gonna bounce it off, all right? So, so that's reflection. It just bounces the light back off, and that's important because you know, if the viewers, let me change it to the pen. Mouse, sorry about that. Let me make it a little smaller. Now, if the viewer's here, all right, you know, he, 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 he's going to be able to see the, this source of light, you know, reflected on this. It's going to be like a mirror. So that's reflection. And it's important in glass. It's not too important because we, we don't actually want it to look like a mirror. We just want it to give a little hint of the, you know, of reflection. Otherwise, it's going to be like, it's gonna. It's not gonna look nice. Okay. I'm just gonna. Let me go back to the mouse. Got it. Okay. So I'm gonna enable it here. In the mirror transparency tab, this is the ray mirror. All right. So I'm gonna enable it, and I'm gonna give it a high value. You know, just to show you what's gonna go on. What's gonna happen. Okay. You can see it here, but I'm gonna render it so that you can see what's going on, and. Uh, but this is not what we want, okay? I just wanted to know what's what happens if you move that slider. But you can see this, okay? 
this is a mirror this is not glass this is a mirror and it actually looks pretty nice but this is not what we want okay this is just bouncing the light and into the camera all right this is bouncing the light from the sky I guess into the camera okay that's why it looks blue and it's bouncing the light of the checkered board back into the camera all right like that so this is not what we want okay I mean this is not glass this is a mirror and uh, even though it looks nice it's not what we're looking for right now so go back here and instead of you know moving the slide all the way here just just you know clicking here so you can actually punch in the numbers and put something like 0 0.05 or something like that okay that's more more like what we need so I'm gonna render it once again so you can see the difference and um, while it renders I'm gonna open the Coral Painter again so that we can go to the refraction yes, it finished all right so that's more like it okay I don't like the gray color as well so I'm gonna change it in the uh, you know soon okay now refraction basically means and you know you know, this is basic physics. I mean, I'm sure you know this, but you know, just to recap what we're doing here, how we do it in Blender, okay? So it's important for you to know what 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 I, what physical characteristics of the material you're modeling in Blender. So that I think it's easier to understand. Well, I hope it's easier to understand. So if it, if it doesn't make any sense for you, well, sorry. I think it does, but uh, uh well, uh, I'm just trying to do it right. I I, I want I really want you to understand what's going on. So. The refraction is basically, I mean, the prerequisite for refraction is transparency, all right? I mean, light has to be able to go through the material to, to, in order to, to be able to refract it as well. So, uh, refraction basically means that it, even though it's transparent, it doesn't go through, the light doesn't just go through, but it goes through at an angle, okay? You know, I mean, in transparency, it should go like, like this, no, like straight up to the viewer but, but but the glass and most of the transparent materials actually refract the light like this so when it goes through it changes the angle okay let's go here and back here in the mirror transparency uh, this is this means index of refraction okay now each material has its own index of refraction like you know real smart people with lab coats and all that stuff like you know, with the hair all messed up and glasses, you know, you know that kind of thing. Nah. Like real smart, and this this is actually you know, th this can be measured. So uh, so if you really want to be completely accurate, just Google it up. Okay, index of refraction of glass or something like that, and you'll find out it's about 1.52. Oops, sorry, 1.52. Okay, I'm gonna render this again, but it's not 1.52, but it's like 1.52. 51728 or something like that. So this is pretty close. And this is the final result. Yep. Uh, so that's it. So let me change. Uh, hold on. I'm going to change the color so that you can see this. In a, this has like a gray tint. I don't like it. So hold on a second. Just go back here. This is the color of the object. We're gonna go to let's give it a green tint. Oh, like very slight. Yep. I'm gonna render this again. Uh, right there. So, uh, well, I hope this works for you. I guess this is it. I'm gonna wrap it up here, and uh, and uh, go ahead and uh, you know request any more tutorials. I'll be glad to help you. You know, using Blender. To learn how to use Blender, and uh, I hope you enjoyed this, and I'll see you later.